Hi, it's Chester at Blue Pecan Computer Training. And in this video, I want to show you how to combine if and VLOOKUP within the same formula. Start off with this scenario where I've got a discount I need to calculate in column K based on two factors in each transaction, the category letter and the quantity purchased. So I'll just start off with a basic VLOOKUP. And what I'm going to do is look up this category letter in this table array. And I need to fix that reference. And I do that with the F4 key in my keyboard, comma, the call index number. So in the first instance, what we're going to do is return discounts for quantities less than 10. So that would be the second column within this table. Range lookup, I'm doing an exact match. Close the bracket, press enter. And then I need to copy this down. You can see that wherever I get a category B product, I get a 2% discount. Now, I also want to show discounts for quantities greater than 10. So this is where I need to use my if. I need to say if, first argument logical test, if this quantity is less than this threshold here, D2, which I need to fix, comma, then perform this VLOOKUP. That's in the value of true argument. Now, if this isn't true, I want to return values from the third column within my lookup table. So I can copy this VLOOKUP, control C, put a comma in and paste the VLOOKUP into the value of false argument. Now, the only thing I need to change here is the call index number to three. So it picks up values from essentially column D within my lookup table and then I just need to close the bracket at the end of the formula so it closes this if open bracket here. Press enter, copy it down, and now it picks up the other discounts. So the discounted price would be quantity times price, which would be the, the total price without a discount. And then I need to apply the discount to it. So I multiply it by open bracket one minus the discount. Why is it one minus? Well, for example, with a 5% discount, you need to calculate 95% of the total price. So one, which is 100%, minus 5% would give you 95%. Okay, so that's how you combine if and VLOOKUP. If you have Excel 365, you might want to do things slightly differently. You can use if and XLOOKUP Let's start with XLOOKUP. Lookup value. Now with VLOOKUP, we just picked one lookup value, but with Excel 365, you can specify an array of lookup values. And that will mean it will spill the results of the XLOOKUP down into surrounding cells. So my lookup array is this column here. That's where I'm trying to find the letters. Don't need to fix it because this one formula will spill its results into surrounding cells. The turn array is the column I'm going to borrow the percentages from. And then I can just close the bracket, press enter. And you can see it spills those results into surrounding cells. And then I can do my if. And I would say, are these quantities less than this threshold here in D2? Don't need to fix it comma, value of true is this X lookup. I'm going to copy that into the value of false. And what I need to change here is the return array. That's not C3 to C5, it's D3 to D5. And then I just need another close bracket at the end to close the if, press enter, and it pastes the results into surrounding cells. Discounted price is the same as before. Quantity times price times one minus the discount. Now, if you have more than two columns that you want to return values from, I would suggest that instead of using if and VLOOKUP, you use index and match. Let me just show you how this is going to work. I'll start off with index. Index has two versions. We're using the array version 
in this example. Now array is all the possible cells that you want to borrow values from. Let me just move that out of the way, which I would need to fix. And then what you can do is specify a row number and a column number. So for example, if I wanted to return this 6%, then the row for that is two, and the column for that is three. You see, you've got a row number and a column number. So I've said row two, column three, I close the bracket, press enter, I get the 6%. So what I need is a way of automatically specifying the row and the column number. And we can get both coordinates using the match function. Let's do a match on the category letter to begin with. So I want to look up A and my lookup array. Well, the lookup array is always a single column or a single row. Match type, I'll say zero for exact match. Close the bracket, press enter take the uh, format off for the moment you can see that's position one now if I change this to C we've returned position three just undo that and I could do the same for the quantities at the top I could say match look for this quantity in this lookup array comma now this one won't be an exact match because seven doesn't appear in any of these cells well, what we would do is use the less than option. Why less than? Well, seven is less than 10. So we want to return values from the first column. I was looking for 11. 11 is less than 15. So I want to return values from this column. Close bracket, press enter. You can see that with a quantity of seven, it returns values from the first column. Let's put the 11 in returns values from the second column. So using match, I can get both of the coordinates for my index function. We need to combine index and match in the same formula. Your array argument is the range of cells that you're gonna return values from. I need to fix that. And then I need to calculate my row number. So match, looking up the category letter within column B, B3 to B5, which I need to fix. And for this match, I'm doing an exact match. So that's zero, close the bracket, comma. And then I need a match for the column number. My lookup value is the quantity, comma. And the lookup array is the column headings in my table, which I need to fix. And for this, I'm doing a less than match type. Close the bracket twice, press enter, apply a bit of formatting, double click to fill down, and you can see that it returns the correct discount. And now I can do my discounted price calculation. Now, if you do have Excel 365, you can do it in a slightly different way with index and X match. Let's see how that would work. So let's start off with X match just to see the difference between it and match. I'm in Excel 365, so my lookup value needn't be a single value. It could be the whole array of category values in this table, comma. Lookup array is column B within this table. I don't need to fix it because I'm using an array of lookup values here. So it will spill the formula down into surrounding cells, comma. My match type is exact match for this. So I close the bracket, press enter, and I get the position of the letter within this column spilled down into surrounding cells. Let's use this with index. So my array is all possible values I want to return. C3 to E5, don't need to fix it. Row number is returned by this X match. And then we need an X match for the column position. So my lookup value is gonna be all the quantities. The lookup array is the column headings within this table. And match mode is exact match or next smaller item. Close the bracket twice, press enter, apply a bit of formatting. And again, I can do my discounted price calculation. 
Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's been useful for you in one way or another. If it has been useful, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.